Marin Erd Musa, what was your inspiration for starting MZI Aviation? MZI Aviation's main mission is to provide our client effective and efficient systems engineering solutions while maintaining core corporate values through natural excellence. And so the inspiration for me was to understand these two aspects and improve over what the industry currently may be lacking or needs a bit more improvement. So I try to understand leadership and try to exercise my skills in that area and that's where I found my most inspiration. And it's still a relatively new company, but what were some of the challenges you faced just getting started? One of the major challenges that I was getting started was mainly regarding the understanding of IRS structure and how tax, tax system works. Um, and I had to do a lot of research understanding that. And so I realized that eventually you have to have a scalable solution. And to have a scalable solution instead of doing it on my own and making mistakes, um, you, uh, you kind of have to understand that there are professionals out there. My main challenge was to basically get established under the taxation system and classification of business, mainly. And right now you're still pretty small, but how are you going to start hiring? How are you going to staff up, find the right people? Right, so that's one of the things that is very challenging, as any small business owner would tell you. That's why I'm coming to these events like the Chamber of Commerce, and also a lot of connections that I have through the current uh, work environment via my clients or the agency I work with, and basically going to various meetups and entrepreneurial, uh, academic sometimes even, uh, gatherings where I go in there and say, this is what I do, what do you guys do? And I even sometimes find leads that are completely outside the original domain of my intended business, which I still embrace. Um, and so that's how I usually do it. And it's been working so far. So How hard is it to wear all the different hats in a company? Yeah. So pretty soon you're going to have to delegate some of that. So right now, how hard is it to do it all yourself? Are you looking forward to delegating? Absolutely. That's going back to the inspiration. That's one of the things that uh, pushed me towards this uh, adventure and that you know, you have to realize that at some point you have to delegate. That's that's what the definition of leadership and management is. And so, yes, ab absolutely. Um, that's one of the, my goals in the future. Uh, but right now, I have to do the work. I have to do the, the lifting now to establish this path. And when it's established, and if it's established right, delegation is going to be the ultimate goal, yeah. And what are your growth plans? How big you want to get? I personally want, a lot of people want to stay um, small and it's probably my original plan i just started it's not even a year barely so but i already getting some traction so i think i would say in the next couple of five in the next couple of years or three years i would want to be at least about five to ten people and then from there we can grow even fa more and what do you foresee as the biggest challenges in terms of attaining that growth what's hold, what do you think is going to hold you back the most important thing is finding vehicles, contracts, slash opportunities to hire people. Um, that's why you go to these um, events where you find leads and then you kind of work on the leads to turn them into opportunities. When you have the opportunities, then you can go out and hire people that are passionate and like I said, the corporate value uh, and then keep it going from there. Well, thanks a lot for coming on and talking about it. Thanks a lot.